<laughs> you guys, the chicken girls changed my life. For the worse. It completely ruined my whole existence. Just kidding. Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the weekend with Lucas. Ho. Oh. So a couple of videos ago, I went through the website Famous Birthdays. I don't know if you watched it. If you haven't, do it. So I went through the website and I realized a lot of the most famous people on Famous Birthdays were from a show called The Chicken Girls. And I was like, what the f***? Is this? What is the chicken girls? I didn't know if it was a girl group or like a group of girls who make chicken recipes and are like, fuck you vegans. Every video we're gonna take a chicken, kill it, and make a recipe and eat it. Bitches. That's what I was hoping it was, but it wasn't. I was completely wrong. A lot of you guys commented that I should watch it and make a video about it, so here I am. I'm all about pleasing the audience because I love you guys. Aww. <laughs> Buy my merch. Just kidding, you don't have to buy my merch that I don't have. So it turns out The Chicken Girls is a preteen drama on YouTube. It's a YouTube show. It has millions of views. I am nothing compared to The Chicken Girls. As I watched it, I was like, oh, this is like The Hill or Gossip Girl, but with 11 year olds. I started watching it as a joke, but then like it ended with me being like worried for the chicken girls. I was like, are they gonna make it through this? Does Henry like her? Why did she cheat on him? Why was that text sent? There's drama. I was stressed for these 11 year olds and their problems. Like they have a lot of drama. They're having man drama, friend drama, dance team drama. Yeah, you heard that right. This show features some intense dancing. <laughs> The motherfucking Eagle Double G. Pour me a glass of wine because the Chicken Girls is on. I'm just gonna talk about some things that I noticed while watching the Chicken Girls, my observations. If you wanna watch the Chicken Girls, don't watch this video because I'm gonna spoil a lot of shit. Spoilers, don't come for me. Basically, this show follows a group of preteens called the Chicken Girls. It's not an anti-vegan organization like I thought. It's just a group of preteens, and like that's what they call their squad, you know? Whenever they see each other, they're like, yo, Chicken Girls, back, back. They didn't do that, but they should have. If you're a member of the Chicken Girls, you wear a really fucking ugly bracelet. Like that, that bracelet isn't cute. Friendship bracelets? No, take that shit off. The chicken girls have been friends forever. So the series starts out and you're like, oh my God, the chicken girls, like the squad. <laughs> like, what are they gonna get up to? Hold up, because there's drama. What about him? I just met him. He was pretty cool. What do you mean cool? I don't know, nice. What do you mean nice? Like, bitch, you're 11. Why is your boyfriend being controlling? Like, you're in the fifth grade. This should not be happening. Why did you talk to another guy? Stay away from him. Chicken girl. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but in my experience, everyone who seriously dated in middle school had a baby at like 15 years old. So this chicken girl, she's going to be on Teen Mom season 27. These middle schoolers are so deep. I do miss our bike rides on the beach and laying under the stars at night. Probably the best day of my life. Deep shit. Have fun being a teen dad. Their relationship is toxic. Like now she's stressed out at the bowling alley because he's talking to another girl. Don't worry. The stress doesn't last too long because all of the chicken girls just break out into a choreographed dance. Listen up now, listen to me. In the middle of the arcade and everyone's impressed by it like I just know that if that happened in a real middle school situation Everyone would be like what the fuck are they doing? Why are they dancing? <sighs> Much better. Whoa, Ellie, you're practically naked. I love how showing a shoulder is practically naked But there's not just drama between the chicken girls. There's actually also some drama with the dudes I'm definitely gonna ask her out totally wait what? Did you see that? Wait, what? He got pissed. Wait, what? Don't even try to come for his girl. There's even drama about periods. I'm having the worst period ever. Periods. People are making out in bathrooms. This did not occur in my middle school and it didn't even occur in my high school. Actually, I take that back. Now that I think about it, people did fuck in the computer room in my high school. That happened. It feels like everyone's moving on with their lives, but I'm just stuck. Bitch, you can't even drive yet. Go eat a toaster strudel. Save that drama for later in life. Like, what are you doing? Eat a Lunchable. My girls, my fam, my family. 
Stronger numbers, it's no wonder. I love how she just started singing to her. Like her friend is sad, so she sang to her. Just imagine, you're super down, like something horrible happened. You're with a friend just wanting to vent and they start singing to you. Like I don't need this right now. I'm not cheered up from your singing. Like no, this isn't fun. Can I leave? Now one of the chicken girls is texting another one's man's is. Like this friend group sucks. You don't do that. You don't mess with another chicken girl's manses. This is why in middle school, instead of having friends, you should just eat toaster strudels in the comfort of your basement. There's one point in the show when it just suddenly becomes a musical. I, used to hold you. I wasn't mad, but I was confused. Why are you slamming so many locker doors though? You're gonna break something, stop slamming them. Also like why are those locker doors even open? People need to shut their locker doors before they go back to class, like stuff is gonna get stolen. I will steal your shit if you don't shut your locker door. I can just picture middle school kids across the nation just bawling, weeping to this song because their crush betrayed them. I know because there's so much to think about. TK has a new girlfriend, Quinn's betrayed me twice, Ellie's head is in the clouds, and Tim Sharp keeps asking me out on dates. Oh no, why are you so stressed? When I was their age, all I cared about was wholesome things. Like fucking bitches on Grand Theft Auto. Wholesome things. This show made me realize all the things that I miss from being a middle schooler. When you're a middle schooler and you're in an uncomfortable situation, you can just throw out an excuse like this. I just remembered my mom is here to pick me up. Already? Yeah, actually, she's waiting outside right now. I should go. I wish I could still use that shit today. You're with some people, it's getting uncomfortable. Sorry guys, my mom's on the phone, she's picking me up. My dad's outside, he needs to pick me up to go to Taekwondo practice. Gotta go, Boy Scouts. Rehearsal? They don't do rehearsal, do they? Maybe yes, maybe no, maybe find my other house. I guess the Chicken Girls is a musical now. Again, I'm not mad. That song is a bop. Wait a second, I gotta buy this on iTunes. I love how this song is about someone becoming your other half. Maybe find my other half. Maybe no, maybe I'll be yours a photograph. Who cares about finding their other half when they're 10? Dude, tomorrow night? Heat wave. That new teen club, the hottest girls are gonna be there. They're going to a club? What? These bitches are 12 and they don't give a shit. They're gonna go to the club and pop some Molly. You should not do Molly until you're at least 14. Meth at 15. The chicken girls are really dedicated to this stupid dance team. We've been practicing for a really long time. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have something better to do? Yeah, bitch, I do have better things to do. I wanna go home and drink a gallon of Mountain Dew and fuck bitches on GTA. Dance team is their entire life, and the dance that they do at the end, like, isn't that impressive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who's back up in this motherfucker? Motherfuck, motherfuck. Like, it seems like it's a lot of, like, clapping, not much movement. Also, I'm pretty sure someone in the audience is smoking hella weed, because there is smoke everywhere. One of the chicken girls leaves the dance team to become a singer. She's, like, really nervous to sing, and she's like, I don't want to sing, but I do want to sing. Please come to my show. Why is this the storyline in every preteen show ever? It's always about one bitch, she's too nervous to sing, and then she gets up and sings finally and is amazing, and everyone's like, oh my god. You can't say to me. For one time, I want there to be a show where someone's nervous about singing, they get up to sing, and suck. Like, they are just straight up horrible. Terrible. Everyone's like, no! Don't ever sing again, please. Like, I understand why you were nervous, because you suck. That's more realistic. I gotta go find her. Wait, wait, wait. Before you go, let's take a pic real quick. Hashtag drama. I hope stuff like that doesn't actually happen to preteens today. Like you're in a fight with Bay and he wants to take like a drama picture for the gram, like. Henry, I had a crush on you, like forever. And then we dated. And then you cared more about taking pictures of us than actually being together. I just don't know if I can be with you. You care more about your Snapchat streak than our relationship, hun. 
the stresses of 2018. Like the heat in your eyes, I am completing. Oh, the classic guy singing out your window moment. I love this moment that happens in every teen anything. The girl is in her house, her crush is outside the window singing beautifully. If this happened in real life, bitch, that guy would be arrested for stalking. Like it sounds romantic, you're like, oh my god, a crush singing to me? What if you're constipated from Panda Express last night on the toilet trying to relieve yourself and all of a sudden you hear some rocks on the window, hey babe, let me sing you a song and you're like, oh no, like I'm shitting. Can you leave? How about you text a girl before, huh? Let her know you're on the way. Cause right now, Panda Express isn't agreeing with me. And I can't listen to your romantic song right now. Let's throw a massive rager. Let's throw a massive rager? The only thing you guys better be ingesting at that rager is Twizzlers, okay? Season one of the Chicken Girls ends with an amazing dance. Smoke weed every day. Hold up. It gets funky. <laughs> It's the motherfucking DRA. They flash back to all of the important moments throughout the season, and like I found myself tearing up. I was like, we've been through a lot. Like the chicken girls, we came out as a squad. Like we didn't let the drama get to us. Honestly, season one should have ended with all of them breaking up as a friend group because it is toxic. And then right when you think it's over, this happens. Do you love me? She just asked him if he loved her. Bitch. The only thing you should be loving at 11 years old is f***ing bitches on GTA and toaster strudels and The Sims. Oh my gosh, I just realized the whole reason I avoided all of this drama is mostly because of The Sims. Like, I lived my drama through The Sims, a safe area where I could cheat on people and break up families, but it didn't affect my real life. This is why you should never talk to anyone and only live your life on video games. I haven't watched season two. If you guys enjoyed this, I might have to watch season two and also dissect it. Thank you guys for watching this piece of shit video. Don't forget to subscribe. I think I'm gonna go. Hit that bell. Peace out.